Hi guys, this is the Python series. What is file? A file is a named location on disk. It is used to store the related information. Why we need file only we can access the stored information after the program termination. Am I correct? Python, we have so many several functions for creating, reading and updating files. Okay. The file may be in the text format or binary format and each line of a file is ended with the special character. The file operation can be done in the following order. The first one open, the second one read or write, the third one close the file. How can we open a file? with the help of the inbuilt method open function. In Python, we have the inbuilt method open. Okay. With the help of this open function, we can open a file in read or write mode. And uh, what is the role of the open function? Open function return a file object that accepts the file name and the mode whether to read or write okay what are the modes important modes r mode w mode a mode or plus or for reading w for writing a for appending or plus for both reading or writing okay if we don't pass means the default mode is r okay and how to close the file with the help of the inbuilt method close that is also present in our Python language. Okay. Once all the operations are done on the file, we must to close. Okay. It is a good practice to close the file once all the operations are done in order to avoid the corruption of the file. Okay. So now let's see this example. Here I have implemented the exception handling. Try accept and else block. Okay. So we know exception handling. In order to maintain the flow of the program execution, we have to implement the exception handling. In order to avoid the runtime errors, we can implement the exception handling with the help of the try accept block. So inside the try block, we have to place the suspicious code and accept block is responsible to handle the errors which are raised inside the try block. And if there is no errors inside the try block, the else block will be executed. Okay, we already discussed these things. Here, I want to read the file, the existing one. What I will do? First, we have to open with the help of the inbuilt method open that is present inside the Python language. Okay. And uh, what is the syntax? Open and inside the round brackets, we have two parameters. The first parameter is what? The file name. The second parameter is the mode. Here there is no mode. That means R is the default one. Isn't it? Now only we have discussed. So inside the D drive, this is the text file. I want to read this file if it exists. That's why we have used this open inbuilt method. And this open inbuilt method returns the file object. Isn't it? Okay. So that accepts the file name and the mode. So what mode? Read mode. Okay. Here there is no second parameter. So the default mode is R mode. Okay. If this file is present inside the D drive, this open method returns the file object. Okay. If this file is not present inside the D drive, means what will happen? The control jumps from the second line to the third line. Okay. So this except is responsible to handle the error which is raised inside the try block. Here I have the inbuilt exception class file not found error. This is one of the inbuilt exception class. Okay. So this is the variable as keyword I have used here. Okay. And 
inside the err the inbuilt message will be stored that will be printed on our console with the help of the print method okay if this file is exist inside the d drive means what will happen there is no errors inside the try block so the control jumps from the second line to the else block fifth line and this statement will be printed on our console and uh, with the help of this close method we have to close this file object okay this is our file object name fptr okay after encounter this line the file object will be closed okay so what is the usage of this close method it is used to to avoid the interruption the opened file object okay we have to close after our operation of file will be done okay let me execute this one error number 2 no such file or directory so this file is not present inside this d drive okay so here i change the file name to file so this file is exist inside the d drive now what is the output execute the same again here file exist because this file is present inside the d drive so there is no error so the control comes the else part and this statement is printed okay i hope you all understood about what is file and why we need file and the open and close methods in say the python language to open and close what are the important modes available in the file operations and what is the default mode of the open method now let's discuss about how the new file can be created by using x mode a mode and w mode okay w mode creates a new file with a specified name if no such file exist okay it will overwrite the file if any file exist the file pointer position is at the beginning of the file i repeat it again w mode creates a new file with the specified name if no such file exists okay it will overwrite the file if any file exists what is the position of the file pointer at the beginning of the file okay so what is the role of the up and mode up and mode creates a new file with a specified name if no such file exists it appends the content to the file if the file already exists with the specified name okay the file pointer position is at the end of the file okay i repeat it again append mode creates a new file with a specified name if no such file exists it appends okay the content to the file if the file already exists with the same specified name what is the position of the file pointer at the end of the file okay the third mode x mode creates a new file with a specified name it causes an error if the file exists with the same name the file pointer is at the beginning of the file i repeat it again x mode creates a new file with the specified name it causes an error if the file exists with the same name the file pointer position is at the beginning of the file okay now let's see this example here i have used the open inbuilt method to open this file with this mode okay so we already discussed about the open inbuilt method okay so this open inbuilt method returns the file pointer object fptr is the name of the file pointer object okay here i have used the write mode so what is the role of the write mode it creates a new file with a specified name if no such file exists okay it will override the file if any file is exist that's it 
the position of the file pointer is at the beginning of the file isn't it so if this file is already present means what will happen the new content will be overridden the old content that's it if the specified name is not present means what will happen this file will be created and the content will be stored inside this file okay so if i use this write mode the file pointer is at the beginning of the file i hope you all understood about the write mode i try to open the file one text to file okay so here inside the d drive file one dot text so this is my content god is great okay now this file is exist already so what will happen this content will be overridden the old content am i correct okay if there is no error inside the try block means what will happen the control jumps from the second line to the else block fifth line isn't it and here i have used the right lines inbuilt method okay so with the help of this right lines we can write the content to this file pointer object okay so it contains the address of this path of the file isn't it and already we have this content god is great this file is exist inside the d drive okay now after execute this program what will happen the control comes inside the else block and this content will be written inside the file one the old content will be erased got it and this statement will be printed on our console for our message okay now let me execute this one here file successfully updated okay now i open the file one again so actually the old content is god is great okay the old content is overridden by the new content because i have used the right mode isn't it now this file is already exist isn't it but now i create a new file f w e inside the d drive this file is not exist okay f w e is not present inside this d drive now what will happen let me execute the same again so what is the result file successfully updated how this file is now only created and this content will be stored inside the newly created this text file is it clear now again i go to the d drive so here is the newly created text file okay now i open it this content is placed here okay so if this file is exist means the old content is overridden with the new content if the specified file is not present means the file will be created and the content will be stored inside the file okay i hope you all understood about the w mode if there is any error is occurred inside the try block means this except block is responsible to handle the error which is raised inside the try block okay this is the inbuilt exception class and this is the name of the variable so the inbuilt error message will be stored inside this variable that will be printed on our console with the help of the print method if there is no error means the else block will be executed okay now the next to one a mode so the name itself we know append okay so the specified file is not present means what will happen our content will be stored inside the newly created file okay if the specified file is already present means what will happen the old content is present 
and our new content will be added inside the file with the old content. That's why we can call it as append. This is my file path. Okay, file 432. This is present inside the D drive. Now I open file 432. Okay, good. Thank you. This is my old content. Okay, now I want to append a new content. Okay, health is wealth. Health is wealth. Okay, let me execute this one. File successfully updated. This is only the output message. Okay, now I open the same. File 432. Now the old content is present and the new content is also present. Health is wealth. This is our old content and this is our new content. Okay. That's why we can call it as up and mode. So, the file pointer position is at the end of the file, not the beginning of the file. Okay. If we open any file using up and mode, the file pointer position is at the end only. Okay, I hope you all understood about the difference between the right mode and the up and mode. Okay, right mode means the old content will be overridden. Up and mode means the old content is present and the new content will be added. Okay, and right mode means the file pointer position is at the beginning of the file. Okay, beginning of the file. If we use the up and mode, the file pointer position is at the end of the file. Okay. The next one, X mode. Okay. So, it causes a error. What type of error? If the specified file name is already present, it will generate the error. Okay. So, this is my file. If this file is Already present means what will happen? The X mode produces the error. Okay, let me execute this one. Here, error number 17, file exists. This file is already present. That's why I got this error. Okay, so the control jumps from the second line to the third line. And here, this is the inbuilt exception class, file exist error. Okay, this is one of the inbuilt exception class. And here this is the variable. The inbuilt error message is stored here. That is printed here. Okay, now I give some new name. Apple. Okay, now this is not present in my D drive. Okay, Apple is not present. What will happen? This file will be created. Okay, so this won't give any errors. Okay, now let me execute the same again. A file successfully created. Okay, I go and check inside the D drive Apple. Now, this file is created and the file pointer position is at the beginning of the file. If we create any file with this mode means the specified file name is exist means it will give the error. The specified file name is not present only. This won't give any error. The file will be created smoothly. Okay. So now I have completed the write mode, append mode and x mode. Okay. So if we use the write mode, the old content is overridden. If we use the up and mode, the old content is present and the new content will be added. For write mode, the file pointer position is at the beginning of the file. Okay, X mode also, the file pointer position is at the beginning of the file. Okay, but if we use the X mode means, what will happen? 
if the specified file name is already present this mode creates the error if the specified file is not present to means this file will be created we have completed this session if you have any doubts drop the message on the comment section if this video is useful to you like and share for more videos subscribe my channel hit the bell icon then only you will get the notification for my new updates have a nice day thank you